No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. Color Grading Central, professional color grading with Color Finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. So I'm here at the Red Booth, and uh, we're looking at the Full Control app. And so this interfaces with with red cameras to control wirelessly. Yeah, wirelessly or with a cable, you can have different setup. Because if you're shooting underwater, you can have a cable going back to the surface and still be able to control the camera. So it's basically it's a super super red mode. So you can control any parameters that you would do on the camera screen. You can do it from the uh, computer interface on the on the Mac or on the iPhone. Oh, iPad. Uh, it essentially gives you full control of the camera wirelessly. Yeah, wirelessly. You can control uh, color temperature, you can control uh, the color look, you can send metadata information for scene and text, and you can even control focus or iris on the Canon lenses. So season three of House of Cards, they used it? Yeah, they used the, the Mac version of the app for the, the whole show, and they were able to just uh, uh, make a small curve, for example, on the, on the camera. And see that live. You see it live on the camera. It's on all monitors on set, and the good thing is it, in the metadata, data information right in the 3D file. So it's something that you will never lose. It's not the small file that we'll do at the end of the day with the DIT that right. get lost because it's only on the first copy and not on the other drives. So or someone resets the value and go back to the default look. If right. you do it in camera, then it will stay all the way into the post-production and the dailies will be right and right. everything will be as the DOP intended because it's made from the camera. And there's the same version of the app in the iPhone that does pretty much the same uh, thing. You got all the curves and all the settings. And it's always, I always try to make it there, but also easy to use. So here it's just following my finger. So it's a very rough uh, curve that I can do. But if I go into super fine or fine modes, then I can just move this point and it moves super slowly. And will it also work with Nikon, Nikon, Nikon lenses? Nikon and Canon, yeah. But the, the, the Canon are faster because the motor is uh, are more responsive, I think. Okay. So Yeah. And so. If you could talk about how these actually interface with the camera, because I know with the older cameras, you needed the wireless module in order to yeah, work with this yeah, app. The new camera, the weapon, the Wi-Fi is integrated, so you just need the app and you connect to the, uh, the camera and that's it. So now in terms of price points between the desktop app and the mobile app. Yeah, the mobile app is 149 and it lets you connect to any camera, uh, whatever the serial number or the model is. And on Mac, it's the same thing, but it's 320 and you connect to any camera. But if you're a single owner operator and you got like uh, uh, an Epic or a Scarlett, it's 149 and it's locked to your just your Epic. For our DITs, they might want the higher-end yeah, yeah, version. And if you yeah. only have the one camera, you might just want the one specifically yeah, yeah, for yours. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, you can still get the first version and upgrade later. I mean, I'm quite flexible if people yeah. uh, want to, to change. But, but for example, the panel support was just added for NAB uh, this year. And uh, it's just a free upgrade. You don't download it. Is, which panels would this work with? Any, any panel, basically, no, no, or specifically? No, all, all the tangent panels. So they means the element, also the wave. And they, they also have a, an app on the uh, uh, iPad that l lets you simulate all the panels and this works also with their system. Great, thank you.